this front piece moves. I don't know if you can see that, but when I push on it, like there's... Welcome to episode 134 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we are talking about Beards Woodshop Co. And that's a guy named Tyler William. William? William. Mm -hmm. Tyler William. So we're talking about two of his puzzles. And I'm going to pull that one out. And I got... So this is Idiot Box. It's a level 9 on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. And it is completely, more or less completely made out of wood. I know there's some like metal parts inside of here. But... Uh, yeah, the objective is to find the two antenna. So there's two antenna that will go up top here in those holes. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, level nine. And uh, Beards Woodshop Co. also has done another puzzle called Boombox that we have here. Um, yeah, but I think that's the only other puzzle that we have from Beards Woodshop, though. Linnea, what is your puzzle? This one is Lock-In Pin. It's a level eight, also designed by Tyler Williams. Um, the objective to this one is to remove the coin that's inside here. So free the coin. Yeah. I know, the, yeah, there's a couple of metal parts. There's a coin inside here, but it's mostly made out of wood as well. Um, there's a couple of things you can see. There's a tool here on this side. You can see different things on the outside of the box and holes on the back. Yeah. And different things like that. But other than that, like, there's not a lot of um, moving parts on the outside of his boxes. That's right. one thing I've noticed. It's yeah. more internal, or once you remove things, other things will pop out, kind of thing like that. Yeah, on mine, there's a bunch of different stuff. Like, you can see that there's, like, some holes down here that have, like, some wood pieces in them. Maybe it looks like teeth or something that moves, I, I think. And then there's another, there's a spot here that maybe looks like something that moves. Oh, and I can push on it a little bit. And there's some stuff on the side here that looks like it moves. So, I mean, obviously, this is supposed to look like a TV. An idiot box is an old name for a TV. And this is an old school TV. Uh, this would be where you like change channels and stuff. So I like the design of this. I don't think yours is really supposed to look like anything, hey? No, I don't think so. Yeah. But his his puzzles are a little bit higher priced and a little bit higher value. But it's yeah. because there's so much craftsmanship. Like he makes all these puzzles by himself. No help, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and they're all handmade yeah, wood puzzles. So they're nice. Good quality wood. Here, yeah, I so. think we're going to play around with it. We'll see how far we get. So yeah. um, let's just... You got anything else on yours? Do you know? Um, I can show you the first move Let's if see you guys want to see it. So it's a bang move. You just got to do that. Oh, I know it drops that. the pin. So it was magnetically held in there? Yeah. Do you want to keep trying to do more on yours? So there is little holes on the back part here. I'm guessing that has something to do with this pin here. Can you, can you move them? Um, yeah. You, it looks like you can. So you can move them. They're kind of uh, held by a magnet inside there. Oh, really? So you can hear the click. And so... Oh, okay. Uh, I watched the solution months ago. I don't remember all of it. I remember mm. certain parts, but there's like, I just remember that these click in and they're to do with a lot of the movement is going to be involved moving these okay. in the correct orientation. Huh. And then eventually this will open up on the front here. So this one, I mean, I feel like this front part's going to come off, but like, I don't want to, it almost feels like maybe it's magnetic too. I don't know. Um, you know, this back piece even moves a bit, too. Do you know what the first move on is? Um, I imagine it's going to be in here, because when I pushed on yeah, this before, it, like, pushed out. So keep pushing the parts of the There. Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll use the tool now to push out. Oh, like, use this? Uh, yeah, now you should be able to use that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and then they both come out? Yeah. Interesting. So there's magnets in the bottom of both pieces. And they are oppositely shaped, and the magnets yeah. are attracted to each other. So I'm <laughs> guessing the magnets, if you can use them somewhere on the outside of the box. Yeah, well, I mean, That's instantly I'm seeing, like, this could go in here, maybe, because you got this point, and there's, like, inside there, I can use this point to manipulate. But there's probably, like, yeah, if you move the magnets on the outside of the box, you probably find different yeah, things that'll magnetize probably. to it. Let's see. Can feel those magnets. So it's one of the first of. thing you like to. I always like to see when you find a magnet. Yeah, run a magnet. There's gonna over be top. something. I I feel like the last move is gonna be this thing coming off maybe, and then the antennas are in there and you put them in, right? But if the antennas are in the back part here, there's something on the side we're gonna remove. Like maybe this back part will come off, and the antennas will come out, and then the last part is to open up the front, right? Do you think, Kano? These probably connect together yeah they connect together so that's that way, yeah. no no but the, that's why that's how they pack in here i think that's what the cutouts for right because they yeah. connect 
but you exactly. could maybe use that for something else too, right? Right. But that's yeah, that's that's cool. I like that. Um, I have the feeling that the ten is going to be like metal like this. I yeah, I think so. I, I think so kid. too. That's that'd be my thought. Okay, so in this one, I don't know. When I move the piece inside here, you can see there's something past that hole there. Maybe you can do it better on the showing them. It's like you can see there's a little piece of metal in that hole too. Yeah, it looks like there's a metal right ball there. or oh, something. That's really hard to show, but right, right it's past just that past hole, yeah, yeah. past this hole, there's some sort of metallic piece. That might be the magnet. Maybe that's the magnet that's holding it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at that. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, that's those uh, two puzzles, the Idiot Box and the Lock in Pin from uh, Beards Woodshop Co. I want to show you one more puzzle. So this is uh, Amulet from Redemic, and, and it's also, I think it's a co-op with this guy named James Stanley in the design. But it's a really unique maze puzzle. Which it's got these two brass pins that move back and forth. So if I have both pins fully extended on this side, the, the puzzle will, the middle piece, the middle piece will twist up so you can see it kind of create a gap there and your idea is to move these pins back and forth move the piece up and down and get it out i don't expect this is gonna be a super hard puzzle i believe it's an eighth on the puzzle master difficulty rating scale but uh something well there's unique. not a lot of internal right so it's all you can see everything so if it was a little yeah. bit more internal then it you, would be it would a little be harder, harder yeah difficulty. but uh, i like the, the just the, the tactileness of this too like this puck thing is this metal piece is actually really heavy this is a heavy puzzle so um yeah Redemic does really good puzzles, makes beautiful stuff. So go check that out, puzzlemaster.ca. All these puzzles are available there. And let's move on to the online, the online buzz. buzz. Okay, online buzz. We are talking about, are you doing this one? I yeah. think you're talking about this, yeah. So we got sent a puzzle from a company called Quiz Bricks. And um, yeah, he. we unfortunately won't be able to carry his Lego puzzles here as we already have another company that we have of Lego puzzles, but he was nice enough to send it. And we are going to be doing a short video on different things, but it is called um, Amazing. And the so online. Ama so Maze is like M A Z E. It's capitalized. Yeah. yeah. The video the is by Yvonne. We ha he has a solution video where he walks through and solves it on camera. Sorry, a solve video, solve not video, a solution yes, video. Solution, yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he says, like, there's a lot going on. I watched the video and. Man, there's a lot going on inside there. You find a few different tools, um, lots of different black pieces that come out and kind of stay fixed on the puzzle, but they pop out and different things like that. Yeah, but there I was love a lot the design on. on it. Like, it's a beautiful puzzle. It's I, I feel like, so after watching uh, Puzzle Guy's video, I feel like this puzzle is not so beautiful on the outside because some of the other Lego puzzles like look really cool yeah. on the outside. I don't feel like there's a lot of like intrigue to like the design, the look of this. This puzzle will blow you away, though, with what they did. Um, there yeah. it is some wonderful, wonderful mechanisms and a lot going on. Like, there's a lot packed into this puzzle. And I actually was yeah. very, very surprised at that. So I actually like I like that aspect of it where it surprises you with how good it is. And he worked well with the colors, like how the colors pop out and the thing, making yeah. sure that everything that pops out for the most part is black. Is there's black, a couple yeah. white pieces that pop out. This yeah. is a good puzzle. I love it. And thank you to Quizbricks for sending us And that. if you want to see more about it, I'm going to be doing more videos about it on our page. So definitely yeah. go check them out. There'll be some shorts and things or TikTok, whatever. It'll be yeah. it'll be throughout our, our channel, our pages. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the brain teaser, Lene. You want to talk about this one too? Sure. So these are brain teaser puzzles that I have made and designed on for Facebook. Yes. We have paper books, we have PDF booklets of them. Um, we've done a lot of different things with these puzzles. And so this one is called Tricky Triangles. Mm -hmm. So I came up with a puzzle called Scramble Squares where it was just a three by three square with different cubes in it and you got to figure out how to get the puzzle pieces into the square. This one is with triangles, so I did kind of a Christmas theme with yeah. this one. I mean, it's Christmas time. Yeah. So, Christmas so it's a Christmas tree you'll see it on screen here. Um, some really crazy pieces that'll go into this tree and they'll all fit together. Um, there's six different options and you have to want to pick the one that the colors match. Yeah, these are great. Go to our Facebook page if you like them. There's a lot of different ones. I especially like the 3D eye ones, but yeah. uh, there's lots of different stuff. So go to Facebook, find more stuff like that. And uh, you also do a yeah. bunch of like 
different videos on it instead of there. So. With this one too, sometimes it's fun to do it by the eye, but if you want to do it by yourself, you can get the PDF booklet or we can send you the physical puzzle on the computer and then you can figure out how to like drag the pieces on top and figure out how yeah. they'll sit on all together. Hmm. I think that's a fun way to do it too if you want to physically do the puzzle instead yeah. of, or you can get the paper and cut it up, print it and cut it out and do it all in the, that is true. Yeah, the be table fun, as well. So. Yeah. So next, uh, we're gonna talk about a YouTube review and solution, and it seems like we're going a lot of Puzzle Guy today because he just has some really good stuff. So uh, Yvonne, the Puzzle Guy, does some reviews on our YouTube channel, reviews and solutions. And he does a review and solution of this puzzle called One Flower. It's from Pelican. And uh, it's designed by Austin. Asano uh, Asanori Yamamoto. Yeah, I always yeah. forget how to say his name. Osanori, I don't know. Osanori Yamamoto, I like his yeah. stuff. I really <laughs> like his stuff. And this is a different puzzle from some of the other stuff he does. I find he does more like the packing puzzles where you're packing them into a box. This is very different and uh, surprisingly hard. Go watch the review yeah. and solution. This is a surprisingly sneaky puzzle and one that has a wonderfully uh, great aha moment. So go check it yeah. out. The review we'll put on here. The solution is also on our page if you do want to see how it solves, uh, but go check that out. That is One Flower from Pelican. Hello and welcome to Puzzle Master's product review. Today we will be taking a closer look at One Flower Puzzle. This puzzle was designed by Asanori Yamamoto from Japan and made by Pelican in Czech Republic. The One Flower Puzzle was made using two different types of wood, paduk and garapa. The difficulty level of this puzzle is 8 out of 10 on a Puzzle Master's difficulty scale that runs from 5 to 10. And the goal of the puzzle is to take it apart and reassemble it again. The One Flower puzzle has only two parts and the frame. And at the first glance, it seems like an easy puzzle, only two pieces. But as soon as you start solving it, you will find that you can do rotations. You can do some moves of the pieces, but then it seems impossible to remove them. Since that's all what you can do with this piece on top, you can move this piece and rotate it as well, but how to remove them, that will be quite a challenge to find this solution. And you will spend at least 15, 30, maybe even 40, 50 minutes to before you will find that you have to think a little bit different in order to solve this puzzle. So it's a quite an interesting and a tricky puzzle to solve. I like puzzles where there are as uh, less as possible uh, parts that always make these puzzles more interesting since how can it be difficult to remove just two parts from the frame? But it is really difficult and it will take you quite some time before you will find the solution. And last but not least is our Puzzle Master contest. Man, what do we, uh, what's, our, what's our draw for this week? This so time? we have five puzzles that are included in this. A couple metal puzzles, a wood pyre puzzle, a wire, and a cube. Twisty puzzle, yeah. Oh, so, it's not a cube. It's not a cube. It's, yeah, twi it's a twisty, twisty puzzle, yeah. right? So Pyraminx, it's one of the most popular twisty puzzles out there. If you know twisty puzzles and haven't heard of Pyraminx, you're looking in the wrong places. Yeah. So that's a really popular one. Um, there's also Pendulum, which is a wire one. It's a le yeah. difficulty level 9. Um, it has a little bit of like wood and stuff mixed in there, but the goal is basically to remove the diamond shape. Yeah. Wild Dog, very classic wood puzzle from Puzzle Master. And then the horseshoe puzzle. Um, That's one out there. Everybody knows it too. Like, yeah. I've had so many people come in the shop. Do you have the one from back in the day where you yeah. have to remove like the horseshoes and the yeah, I mean this is and... like how how like uh, guys on ranches and farms used to make their own puzzles, you know, a <laughs> yeah. ring and like two horseshoes and weld them yeah. together. So this That's is it. very much p plays homage to that. A lot of classic puzzles in this yeah. set. And then cast cake. It's one of my favorite Haniyama ones. I love it. Yeah. I solved it. It looks kind of like Pac-Man to me, if you look yeah, at the back. Yeah. I feel like they missed, missed the thing there, but maybe that's a branding <laughs> problem. But uh, yeah, those five puzzles are in the draw for uh, this month. This contest will be running till December 31st, 2022. The link is in the description and you do get potentially $78 worth of puzzles right here, shipped to you for free. Um, yeah, make yeah. sure you enter by the 31st. If you don't enter by the 31st, you won't be in. Yeah. So, so before you yeah. go out for New Year's, enter the contest uh, and you can win one of these five puzzles or all of these five puzzles. Yeah. So. And if you like entering contests, check out our um, our website. If you go scroll all the way to the bottom, there's an enter contest um, mm -hmm. tab. We constantly have contests going there. You can come check us out in store. We have different contests going around. 
lots of different stuff you can check out and stuff like yeah. that from month to month so yeah absolutely browse our website puzzlemaster.ca there is a ton of puzzles we are the world's largest online retailer of puzzles you won't find it uh if you can't find it with us you probably won't find it elsewhere so uh yeah check it out thank you for watching this is episode 134 of puzzle time and we will see you next time